Okay, this film is really bizarre, yet it has a very effective way to tell a very important message in society um, and the horrors of it. But I'm going to make that all make sense. Nonetheless, let's jump into the review of this film that has recently been discovered and yet updated for release. Uh, let's start the review of that film right now. What's up, everybody, and welcome back today to the channel for another review. So today we're going to be reviewing the film The Amusement Park. Now, this film is going to be premiering on Shutter June 8th as a as a Shutter exclusive film. And what I was trying to say in the intro is that this film was once considered lost, but recently has it been rediscovered and restored, updated to 4K format. After 46 years, and it's from the legendary director George A. Romero, who has, uh, who's the director of the entire franchise of The Living Dead. So you know that iconic franchise and how so many other films pattern itself after it. So, you know, that's the level, uh, caliber of producer, uh, excuse me, director we're talking about here. Uh, so, you know, anything he does, it's going to be some eyes, you know, glued to it. Um, and considering that he's passed away uh, years ago, uh, you know, this film, again, was once considered lost, now has been restored, updated, and for release. But this film is very unconventional because uh, let's, let's start with the title here, The Amusement Park. When you think amusement park, you're thinking roller coasters, you're thinking candy, excitement, games, all that other good stuff. Thrill of going to the amusement park, having the best time of your life. But what this film does is that the amusement isn't within the rise, but it's it's actually a depiction of how he how he views uh, society to view seniors as entertainment or just uh, at times ignored or whatever it may be. So you're seeing how each of these different rides or games or whatnot that we see in society um, and, and, and amusement parks. And kind of correlating them to how people view uh, seniors in society. So it's a very unique way of doing so. Because, like, you know, when you look, the film's on Shudder. So you're thinking it's a horror film with, you know, monsters, slashers, or something of that sort. But, like, none of that's in here. It's the horror of, number one, uh, becoming a senior or um, an elderly, and also the horror that they endure on a daily basis by their societal standards. So, uh, and, you know, when you look at things from that perspective, it is very frightening. Like, there's some things how they kind of portray it and so very accurate and true, because I've seen it, that it's like, yeah, that's really horrific. And um, the fact that that's how this film was kind of formulated around it's it's you know again it's bizarre but it's effective like you absolutely connect with the film in that sense and you feel something there's there's definitely an emotional attachment to it because number one you know all of us you know hope to want to become um a senior but yet that's a scary feeling to think that you know you depend on others for assistance and you know, sometimes that assistance is in there. And then when you need that assistance, sometimes that no one's there to assist you. And like, um, you know, being able to see that in different scales here on this film was uh, was truly interesting. Uh, but, yeah, that's why, you know, this film amusement part, it's really how it, it, again, it really demonstrates how seniors and how they're in reality, how they're kind of used for entertainment purposes. Um, and that's just, just a really messed up thing. But yes, you know, beyond that, it's the pains, it's the tragedies, the humiliations of aging in America. And, you know, that's pretty much manifested to the, the, the visuals of roller coasters and chaotic crowds. Um, but at the same time, too, you know, it's 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 really, really important that this message is put out there because, you know, seniors, they're taken advantage of and they're ignored and. Um, we can do better if it's really brought to attention. I thought the fact that this film was able to bring that message to the forefront and really uh, in a very simplistic but effective way 
um, was truly good. I mean, the film's only an hour, and it really delivers a lot. Like, while in the beginning, you may think, like, oh, this is a little bit comedic, but then you're like, oh, this is, like, messed up. Like, this isn't right. Um, and, you know, it's an old school film. There's nothing updated about, you know, what's happening in the film. It's very old school, uh, even, you know, by the style of, you know, the, the what, 30 or 20 millimeter film uh, style. It's shot in that way. It's, it's black and white. But regardless, to think that this film was, you know, re- was released, uh, was was supposed to be released almost 50 years ago. It's like this message is still very important to this day. So, you know, it's just a vast amount of, a, of, uh, of appreciation I have for this film because I went in thinking it was one thing. Upon watching it initially, I thought like, hey, this is kind of funny. Then I'm like, oh, this is kind of messed up. And, you know, it did what it was supposed to do because, you know, I was really able to um, sit back and really um, and, and really be one with the issue here and understand like, oh, yeah, we, you know, society, we have to do better. We're all going to become elders one day, um, but we really should, you know, treat them with more respect and uh, really provide them uh, with whatever help we can and whatever resources is available for them and not make them in the sense of like entertainment or neglect or whatnot but like be there for them and that's what the film does like it's really really an effective way of doing so uh, this is definitely uh this film was used as an artistic canvas to really portray something very dear to all parties involved in this film um and even after years later it's still very effective so I, for me, I appreciated this film because it told a very powerful message. Um, the film uh, really was able to um, emotionally connect with me, and I think it will with a, a bunch of other viewers. And while, again, while it may be bizarre to an extent, the message gets its point. And I think that's all that matters. When you make a film, it's like, well, why are you making this film? It's because this film is wanting to tell a message about the abuse that seniors uh, endure in America and how we can do better and how this shouldn't be overlooked and whatnot. So yeah, check this out again. This is going to be on shutter premiering June 8th. This is the amusement part. Jump in the comments folks and let me know uh, your thoughts about this film. And as always folks, stay tuned because we got more reviews coming very soon.